By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to use AI to start editing your YouTube content in minutes. Because if you're still using apps like CapCut or Adobe Premiere Pro, or even worse, you're paying YouTube editors in order to edit your content, you're making a massive mistake. Because there's a new AI tool that makes it as simple as you uploading your content, choosing what edits you want made, and it'll go off and do it. Check this out. Now that new AI tool that I'm talking about is Gling.ai and they make it this simple. You literally just come over to Gling, you're gonna click on start for free right here, and then it is going to log you in where you can click on this and then upload your content. For example, I have this video right here. We could see that it's eight different clips. And by the way, if you're not filming your videos in several different clips, I would strongly recommend that you do. This video right here is about 10 to 12 minutes long and it was eight different clips because it allows me to control my tone of voice way better and just end up creating way better better YouTube content. So we're going to click on this right here. And then there are two things that we could do. One, we could have AI edit the content or two, we could have AI extract shorts if you wanted to with this program. For the sake of this video, we're going to focus on editing with AI. So we're going to click on edit with AI. We're going to click next. You want to make sure that these are going to all be in the right order. So you want to go through and reorder these if they're not. So we're going to go through and do that quick. We have one. You can see that two is going to be after that. So now we have two. Then we need to grab four. We're going to come over here and place this over here. And again, you want this to all be in the right order so that this actually gets edited correctly. It might actually be a little bit easier if I just move them around like this. Boom. And then seven needs to come all the way down here. Then we just want to make sure that this is in the correct order here. So we have clip one. Clip two, clip three, clip four, clip five, clip six, clip seven, clip eight, clip nine. And then we could click on continue right here. And again, we see that these are all accurate up here. Click on continue. And then from here, we could choose how this is going to go through and actually enhance our content. So cut silences, we want that in there. Cut out bad takes, I want that in there. Remove filler words, I want that in there. Auto captions, for this specific video, I don't want this included, but if you did want captions in your content, you would just click on that right there. Like and subscribe button, I don't have a call to action in this particular video, so I'm going to remove this. Auto zoom, I'm going to add that in. Enhance audio, I'm going to add that in. And then we just click on enhance and edit, and we can see that this is going to go through now, and this is going to edit this video for me, and this takes anywhere from like 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on how long your video is. And we can see that I uploaded a 10 minute video and it's literally already at 50 seconds. Okay, so now we could come over here and we could see that this did the majority of the editing for me. So if we come over here, we could see that this correctly went through and identified which areas of the video should actually be cut here, which is quite incredible. And then if we zoom all the way out here, we could see that this cut out every single area where there's actually a gap in between what I'm doing or I just stop saying anything, or if I mess something up, in fact, there were a few different times throughout this video that that happened. So we could see that this went through and removed all of these takes right here. We could see all of the skips that this added in, and we could do a few other things. For example, if we click on pace right here, we could come over here and we can make the pacing either slower or a lot quicker depending on what we want. Or if we wanted to come over here and split things, we would be able to do that here. So let's come over here and I wanna actually watch like the first like 15 seconds of this video just to show you how it actually went through and cut things out that shouldn't be there. And a brand new AI tool that makes creating professional YouTube thumbnails as easy as humanly possible. Because now you don't have to learn tools like Canva or Photoshop and you definitely don't Okay, the first thing that I wanted to call out here, we could see it got rid of all the times that I touched the, that I touched the camera that was correct. In addition to that, if you notice, we actually had like a slow zoom effect. So it's actually adding effects on here. And if we click on this, we could see what effects were actually added. So speech enhancement was used here. If we come over here, this did have a zoom on it and we could actually adjust the zoom if we wanted to. For example, we could have it be smooth or not smooth. We could have a center to face and we could choose the start time, the end time, and how much it actually zooms here if you wanted to. And if you come over here, you can actually click on what kind of edits are on each clip here, which is incredibly helpful because this allows you to go through and see if there are any discrepancies or something that you want to change. So that right there looks incredible. Again, we could go along here and actually see what parts got cut out. So if something was super repetitive, like it's even that this was super repetitive, it got rid of it and we could see that it did that a few times throughout my script here. Now, 
Here's another thing that we're gonna be able to do with Kling. If we come over here and click on Enhance, we're gonna be able to see all the other stuff that we were able to do. For example, maybe we want to add in B-roll to this video because I could see it. there's no B-roll here. If I click on B-rolls right here, what this is now going to do is this is going to go through and this is going to begin to add B-roll all throughout the video in necessary places where it should be. And we could see that this is all getting added in here right now, which is absolutely incredible. That's it's able to figure out according to my script where it should actually put this in. And we can see that this just takes a few minutes. It went through and added six things just while we're sitting here talking. And that is incredible because if you've ever edited a video before or you have somebody else edit your content, you know that the number one thing that takes the most time is editing in B-roll. And now AI does it for you incredibly quickly. Okay, so now that all this B-roll has been added in, we can come over here and see exactly what B-roll is added at each time. And if we wanted to, we could go through and we can quickly change it. For example, if we look at this right here, it's where I'm actually talking about editing content and this correctly shows somebody on a computer, but maybe we want to change that. So what we're gonna do is click on this B-roll right here and we could see that we could actually change this to a person editing on a computer. And then this is going to go through and find a better piece of B-roll here and we could go through and we could see a ton of these, which is awesome that we can now change this. Or if you had your own, you could upload it right here. Or if you wanted to create AI generated B-roll, you would be able to do that right here by literally just coming over here and you could use VO3 or Sora 2 and you just describe exactly what you wanna create and this will go off and this will actually create this. Now, for my type of content, educational content, I don't really need to do stuff like this because I really just need B-roll that's incredibly easy to find in side of stock footage, but if you were doing something that was more entertaining or comedic type content, you would want to use this because this is so easy to use. For example, let's say just for random that my video is actually about a Ferrari driving down the highway. We could put Ferrari driving down the highway with people chasing it. And then we could click on generate right here. And this will actually go through and this will make us a piece of B-roll that shows that if we didn't have footage that showed that thing that we wanted to show. Okay, so now we can see that this went through, this actually created this, and this is awesome. These cars are chasing it down the highway, exactly what we wanted, and we could click on add right here if this was something that we wanted to add. This auto makes it the correct framing for a YouTube video, which is absolutely incredible. Now, from here, what we could do is go through and make any other adjustments that we want. But as we could see, AI did the far majority of the editing here, made this absolutely incredible. And in the past, it literally would have taken hours for me to edit this content inside of CapCut or inside of Premiere Pro. And if I was paying an editor, guess what? They'd be doing the same thing, spending hours, wasting their time when AI can now do all of this for you. And then from here, you simply come over here, you click on export and you could export this as a video file, as as an audio file, or if you wanted to put it into another editor for some reason, you would be able to export it right here. In addition to that, you can also export this as a short if that's the type of content you wanted to make here. And that best part about Gling AI is that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with it today for free. I would strongly recommend that you do this. Again, this has drastically cut down how long it takes me to edit my content. And it's actually one of my bigger secrets for me now being able to run multiple YouTube channels without having to spend all day editing content. Because in the past, that's what was going on. And now that doesn't happen anymore. In addition to that, you should also be creating your thumbnails with AI. And the easiest way to do that is by using the tool that I share with you in this video. So I would strongly suggest you click on this video right here if you want to learn how to make your thumbnails generated with AI because I've used every AI thumbnail tool, but this one is by far the best. I'll see you over there.